Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Today I want to explain you how you install Flutter on a Windows machine and then install it so in that way that we can start a Windows desktop application. And now let's get started. So we begin with an empty Windows installation. I will open up the Internet Explorer and the PowerShell script. As you can see, if I enter here Flutter, we don't get any response. So we have to go to flutter.dev, which is linked down in the video description below. And you will find here the get started documentation on the left side panel or on the blue button on the right top. Here you go to Windows installation and you find the system requirements, which are an operating system, Windows 7 and later, desk space, of course, and to some tooling, for example, PowerShell and Git. We will go to Git to install our Git for the 64-bit version in our case. I already downloaded this Git version so that we can right away jump into the downloads folder and install Git. Because we will anyway work mostly with the commando line, I just keep every default setting in Git and install it with next. While this is installing, we can head over to flutter.dev once more and take a look what we have to do next. Here we have two possibilities to get the Flutter SDK. One is to download a fixed version and the other one is to download it via Git to get a dynamic version. Here we have the possibility to switch the channels to receive the right version for our tooling. So I will do the second way. Now that we have Git installed, we switch over to the PowerShell and go to a folder where we want to install Flutter. Here we execute the git clone command and as you can see, the download begins right away. Now we should locate our Flutter SDK and go in the bin folder of that SDK. Then we open up the system environment variables, environment variables, open up the path and add here our new Flutter path. Now we press OK to anything and we have to restart our PowerShell console. Now when we restart it and execute Flutter, you will see that we download the Dart SDK because it is bundled with the Flutter SDK. So after Flutter has initialized correctly, we can run Flutter Doctor and this will start some different downloads of material fonts and all the other packages that Flutter needs to work correctly. If we are running Flutter Doctor, we will get two problems. The first one is the Android toolchain and the other one Android Studio is not installed. To fix these issues, we head over to flutter.dev in the documentation of installing and see install Android Studio. We jump there and download the Android Studio code accept the licenses and wait till the download completes. Now we open up the installation file and we will see the installer of Android Studio. Here I leave the Android virtual device and the Android Studio selected. Now the installation begins. After we have installed Android Studio, we can set it up and starting. Here we can see the wizard that will help us setting up the Android Studio. We keep it at standard, taking the dart mode in my opinion. And then as you can see, we install all the necessary Android emulator and SDKs into a certain location. When we press finish, the download begins. If you want to work with Android Studio, you would most likely want to install some plugins. One of them is the Flutter plugin, which automatically will install also the Dart plugin. Then we restart the IDE. After the restart, we are ready to go to start our first Flutter project. We can click in the wizard here on Start New Flutter Project, select which kind of project we want to do, selecting the project location and the project name which I keep on default. And for the Flutter SDK, we have to choose the right folder where we have installed the Flutter part. If we press next, we can set up our package path and we are ready to go to work with Flutter. Instead of an Android emulator, we want to work with a Windows desktop application. For that, we have to start up again our PowerShell and run Flutter just to see and rec uh, check if Flutter is still installed. Flutter channel master. With that, we switch the channel or the branch to the master channel. And now we upgrade it with Flutter config. And as you can see, now again, the Dart SDK version gets upgraded to the newest version that currently exists on the master branch. And after a while, we are ready to see the configuration settings for Flutter. 
Here we can see that currently there are no configurations set. So I enable here the Windows Desktop. And if we run Flutter Config once more, we will see on the bottom that there is enable Windows Desktop equals true. Should there be an unavailable behind the true, you have to switch the branch to the master channel. I execute once more Flutter Doctor just to download all the necessary packages and see what we have to do still to run Flutter Desktop on Windows. As you can see, two issues have been found. One is the Android toolchain. That means that the Android SDK, we have not accepted all the Android licenses. This we can do very easily and fix very easily by just copying this command flutter doctor hyphen hyphen Android licenses and then accept all the different licenses that there happens. Of course, you should read all of these licenses instead of just accepting them. Now we are rerunning Flutter Doctor and we will see the second part where we have to install Visual Studio Develop for Windows. So in order to download the Visual Studio installer, we have to go to visualstudio.microsoft.com. You will find the link down in the video description below and download the Visual Studio. After the Visual Studio installer is downloaded, we just starting up the application and wait till the installation is completed. Here. Uh, after the installation is fulfilled, we just have to download and install the desktop development with C++ workload. So you will find that down here. After we hit install, the installation happens again. After the installation is done, I always start Visual Studio at least once to make sure that all the configuration are set correctly. So here, in my opinion, I just say not now and close that off and then choose the dark theme again and start up Visual Studio. It will take a second, but after that, we are ready to go to create our first Flutter Windows application. One last time, we just execute Flutter Doctor. And as we can see, hopefully now, we will have a lot of green ticks. Awesome. Now I navigate to a folder where I want to create our first Flutter project. So I execute Flutter create and enter the project name. In our case, first Windows project. Now all the diff files that we need are getting created and we get another warning that be sure that you want to work with the Flutter Windows desktop SDK because it is not stable yet and will most likely be changed in the future. Now if we just say Flutter run the application will start with the Windows as default. So I run Flutter Run and it will download all the necessary Windows SDKs. And after that, our application will start up and is ready to go to work with. And as you can see, this is our basic counter example. We can click on the button. We get even a cover on that button. It is even responsive till a degree and it is ready to work in Windows. Congratulations! Amazing! We managed it to install Windows on our Windows machine and we can start up Windows Desktop now. So if you find any other issues or you have feedback to that of how we installed it, please leave it down in the comments below. Give that video a like and if you haven't subscribed yet, please press the big button in the center of me. And thank you very much for joining us today and enjoy the rest of your week. See ya guys!